Welcome to this week's MVP segment on High School Cube News. I'm Beth Long here at St. Ignatius College Prep where we are featuring six foot one senior point guard Riley Duty. <laughs> Riley, looking back on the season so far, what have been the biggest moments for you? Um, for me personally, definitely the shot against DePaul Prep to clinch a share of the Catholic League North title. Um, there was four seconds left and uh, we inbounded the ball. They tipped it originally, so I kind of panicked at first. The initial goal was just kind of to get it to the basket and find a shooter in the corner or just to take it all the way. So when it got tipped, I'd uh, throw it from half court and it went, hit the backboard and rattled in and it was shocking at first and it's still shocking, but uh, that was definitely the biggest moment to hit a half court game winning through to share the Catholic League title north. What is going through your head when that ball is traveling through the air? Um, it looked good. I said, I mean, I just tried to aim it as much as possible. I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it or not. I knew it had a soft enough touch, but when it was going through my head, um, it was just kind of all surreal. Just the, it, it was the longest four seconds ever. And I imagine going into the season, it was one of your guys' goals to it win was. that Catholic League North it, title. It was. It was. A lot of people didn't believe that we could. We were an underdog going into the season. We got some uh, press. We got some uh, recognition for the team that we have. And um, we earned it. We, uh, that was definitely one of our goals, to win the Catholic League North and to get our uh, names up on one of those banners there. And so now that we're able to do it, now we hopefully we can make a run down state. And how did your game improve this season? Um, definitely as a leader. I've been the captain since I was a sophomore, but um, as a senior, you kind of have to take on even a bigger role of leadership. And so I feel like I was able to lead those guys to a, lot, a very good season um, on and off the court, push them in the classroom, but especially on the court in practice, it's important we have good practices, especially with the team that we are. What do you think it says about your leadership to know that even as a sophomore, you respected that much already? Um, I've always been a leader. So I think it's just one of my best attributes and I think it's one of the best parts of my game personally because I'm not a great scorer but I could find my teammates, I'm a pass first point guard and so I just think it means that I'm willing to work hard and never stop working. And what's been the strength of this team this year? Um, definitely us just playing as a team kind of but definitely our defense. When we hold teams to, coach says 40 and 40, hold teams to 40 percent or under and 40 points and we should be fine because we do have some solid scores, but we build off of our defense, our energy, and um, there's been games where we've been able to hold teams to at least four points a quarter. And obviously you're a good leader. We mentioned that. Good floor general. What are your strengths on the court? Um, I honestly, I, I can attack the basket. I think I'm, that's probably the strongest part of my game offensively. I can find the open person, the open shooter, or the diver in the lane, but um, Getting to the basket has always been my strong suit, and I feel like I can do that at will in a lot of games, especially when I need to. And I feel like a lot of my points come in the fourth quarter, and getting to the line especially is a, a big part of my game. You sound like you really thrive under pressure. Is that yeah, true? I love it, yeah. yeah I mean, um, um, it's been something growing up in the, playing inner city basketball. Just It, it grew onto me, and I, I love pressure, pressure situations. I always tell the coaches, going into the timeout, I'm like, give me the ball. Whether it's I'm going to score or I'm going to find one of my teammates, but I know I'm going to make the right play. And what are your goals and expectations for this team as you continue on forward? Um, first, we got to get through our regional. It's a tough regional, but uh, we definitely think we have a winnable sectional. Um, hopefully. We can make it to the sectional championship. We will see Riverside Brookfield again. We've played them twice this season. They've been good games. We just haven't been able to pull off a win, so hopefully third time's the charm. And then, I mean, hopefully we can make a run down state and shock the whole city and the state. Once again, congratulations, Riley. This is Riley Duty here at St. Ignatius. He's this week's MVP on High School Cube News. Make sure you guys stay tuned for next week's.